it's beautiful weather today and I just want to say how blessed we are to have a Savior. We are going to have a model prayer for Israel and for the Jews and this is an example um, you can pray this prayer on your knees or any other way you deem worthy of being a prayer and we uh, show God that we value His people and that we understand the promises that He made to them in the Bible. Okay, let's close our eyes. Heavenly Father, thank You for sending Your Son to die for us on the cross. Thank You that salvation is of the Jews. Thank You for the fact that Jesus, the Jewish King, died for us on the cross and that we can believe in Him. Heavenly Father, I pray that more Christians will come to understand how valuable your people are and how beautiful the promises are that you've made to them and that it will truly be wonderful the day when you bring those promises to come to pass. Thank you for the fact that we can know that those things will come to pass and that you will truly give the physical land of Israel to the Jews and that they will be happy in that land. We understand that the Jews do not accept Jesus Christ as their Savior yet, but they have st still got the opportunity to do so. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, that you give that opportunity to them. We are your humble servants, and we understand that we have an opportunity to give the gospel to the Jews. Help us to, be, to befriend Jews and to give them the gospel that they so dearly need. Help us to pray for Israel and understand the difficulties that they are going through. And that they will not lose heart and that they will stand for truth and that they will stand for the reality that you have still gotten them in your mind and that you have not forgotten the Jews. We know Heavenly Father that you always keep your beautiful promises and especially those that you have for Christians and have for Israel. Let us be filled with wisdom and compassion and stand, the, stand against the anti-Semitism in the world, an evil spirit wanting to destroy your people. Let us be on our knees and love your people, the Jews, and be thankful that we might see the millennium with them, not because we deserve it, but because you have saved us. We understand that many Jews are not going to um, be saved, and when they die they're going to go to hell, and we don't want that. 
we want to, we want the Jews to believe. And I can only say with the psalmist, may Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forever. In Jesus, beautiful, wonderful, divine name. Amen. And I pray that we will learn our children and our family and our friends and congregants, Christians, to pray for the Jews and to love the Jews and to um, remember the promises God made to the Jews in the Bible. I know that God regards this as a thing near to His heart and we can keep this near to our heart also. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen.